Hello everyone and welcome to um, one of the first videos really tropical related on microcast and tropical that have come out in quite a while. We're going to be talking about the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific hurricane season outlooks for 2020. So this is going to be an interesting um, next few minutes as we talk about what's going to be happening. Uh, there will be other outlooks coming out on May 1st. The Eastern Pacific outlook will come out, the final one, and we'll also have a second Atlantic outlook coming out on June 1st. But for now, uh, this is current predictions. We're going to start with the Atlantic. Well above average activity is expected by me. I'm thinking 18 tropical storms, 9 hurricanes, and 5 majors. So I'm going aggressive on this particular season. I think that this season is going to have quite a few things stacking in its favor, like, for example, the fact we have a La Nina, well above average, um, possibly sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, and the fact that Cyclone analogs, TC analogs for... Um, the Atlantic show an active season with a few major hurricanes. So uh, again, 18 tropical storms, nine hurricanes, five majors. On the aggressive side of things, we'll see how things go as we head into the season. This could be brought down a little bit. Here's the hurricane season in a nutshell. So we'll start with the red, um, red region. This is the Caribbean. The Caribbean's been fairly inactive and we've been saying for years now, people have been saying for years now, the, the Caribbean's going to get something. But since really Matthew of 2016, we haven't gotten too much. You could count Dorian, but that really didn't blow up in the Caribbean. I'm thinking a major hurricane in the Caribbean this year. Um, that's, that's more than likely in my opinion. And we're going to have storms in the Caribbean. You can see the orange section. The storms from the Caribbean are going to go into the Gulf. Um, storms from that green section will also go into the Gulf. But I think that um, a new development in the Gulf is fairly unlikely, especially after early season. And we'll likely see, um, likely see storms from the Caribbean head into the Gulf. Wouldn't be surprised with a Florida landfall. Um, you can see the blue area. I don't see too many storms developing along the MDR here. They could, but I think they'll be fairly weak. We could have a couple of um, hurricanes develop that are longer track, but um, analogs don't really support much development there. Um, conditions should be fair, but I think they'll go north. You can see in the hatched area there, that black hatched area within the yellow region, that's likely where we're going to see the most development, um, where most of these MDR storms will develop. So numerous storms are likely to develop in that hatch area, and most of these storms are recurve northward somewhere within the yellow region. We're probably going to see an east coast landfall this year at some point as well. Just something else I wanted to point out. Finally, the green area. Storms may track up through the Caribbean. Storms going north may also track into the Gulf of Mexico. So a Florida hit, also not entirely unlikely. So what are your chances of getting impacted by a tropical storm or greater this year? So um, you can see the key there. Um, Yucatan Peninsula really being the hot spot, greater than 90% chance. Um, the Leeward Islands, Southern Leeward Islands in particular, at a fairly high chance. And then you can see our 50-50 uh, chances near 50-50 near Puerto Rico, near um, Hispaniola. Uh, those particular places, those probabilities will likely go up or down a good bit by the time we get to the second outlook, but there's relatively low confidence on TC impacts there. Um, the East Coast, we're thinking there's going to be a place somewhere that gets it. Um, likely um, North Carolina, probably going to be a hot spot. And then you can also see um, two other areas in particular of interest, um, the Florida Panhandle and um, just south of Texas into Mexico. Those are two um, landfall hotspots as well for this year. That's what we're expecting. All right, so what are our probable hurricane tracks? So you can see the, the storms that develop in the MDR and then recurve, a variety of recurves. And again, you can see some storms will probably impact the Northeast. And then those Caribbean developments that will either go into the Florida Panhandle or curve south. I don't see many of these storms just with the general pattern we're going into, going into Texas much, um, especially... Um, eastern Texas or western Louisiana. Um, still possible for sure, but general tracks, I don't see that happening very often, if at all. All right, well, what are we expecting for the eastern Pacific? An above average season when it comes to named storms, but when it comes to hurricanes and majors, we are expecting a below average season. So you can see 18 named storms, the same as the Atlantic, seven hurricanes and three majors. That's less than the Atlantic actually. Um, but yeah, still slightly above average in named storms despite the La Nina coming in. Um, most of that being supported by the warmer temperatures north of there as well as um, some SST analogs. 
So let's take a look at the season in a nutshell. So you can see the red area, that's where most of these storms are going to develop. A few hurricanes are likely, a few majors could also form, um, but most storms will develop within that red region. If storms do go outside, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to take a track um, within this yellow area in general. Blue area is below average activity being expected. Still, a storm could end up in that blue area, but um, the yellow and red areas in particular are what I'm expecting to be the most active. All right, so what are your landfall chances? Well, it looks like central Mexico um, is, is the place where the landfall chances are the highest, um, although most places in Mexico do have a fair chance of experiencing TC conditions. So that is certainly something to keep in mind here. Um, as time does go on, uh, we will be, again, making an additional update later about what these storms could do who could be impacted. Again, we'll have more confidence within the next month or so. All right, so what are our probable hurricane tracks? Well, you can see on both there, we have storms that are either gonna recurve north or recurve into Mexico, or we're just gonna have storms that stay in a relatively westerly direction um, going into the Eastern Pacific, well into the Pacific before they recurve north, or they just don't recurve at all, but land impacts are unlikely. Don't see many of these making it to Hawaii this year. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. You can check us out on, on Facebook at Microcasting Tropics, on Twitter at Microcasting TRO, on Instagram at Microcasting Tropical. And that's it for this. Um, like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a new video.